David Calkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it going for Katie Wynn, everybody. All right. Let's begin the jokes. <laughs> my, uh, my mom did this thing recently. She made a cake. She made a chocolate cake, and it came out too dense and flat. And instead of saying, oh, the, the cake didn't work out, she rebranded it at the last minute. She said, oh, well, I guess I made fudge. <laughs> and I, like, I love my mom, but I can't let that go. Fudge is its own thing. It is not unsuccessful cake. <laughs> if I tell a joke that bombs, I don't go, oh, well, I guess I wrote a poem. I went to the dentist, that was a mistake. Because <laughs> now I gotta do like four things every time I wanna clean my teeth. I gotta brush, floss, mouthwash, and, and water pick. I don't think it should take four steps to stop gingivitis. Gingivitis is not an immediate threat. It takes less steps than that to stop yourself from being on fire. is going on. Uh, I'm a terrible liar. I always, always have been a terrible liar. When I was in middle school, I got asked to this dance by this girl that I liked. and I wanted to go, but I was too scared. Uh, so I lied and I said, I can't go to the dance because I have a saxophone lesson. <laughs> and she said, how do you have a saxophone lesson at 9.30 on a Friday night? <laughs> and I said, well, it's possible that I would have a saxophone lesson tonight because tonight I'm on call. <laughs> Which is an even worse lie. <laughs> on, on call makes it sound like I'm some kind of saxophone playing doctor, you know? It saves lives with emergency jazz. You know, I'm gonna get a call from the hospital. I'll say, Dr. Calkins, thank you so much for boogieing down here on such short notice. <laughs> As you can see, the patient uh, requires 32 bars of straight ahead swing <laughs> administered to the left and right ear canal or her spleen will rupture. Daddy-o. <laughs> Speaking of daddy-o's, mine died. <laughs> no, 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 no. He died and he left behind a treasure trove of hilarious shit for me to talk about. So do not say, I am glad. Not that he said, but I am glad that I get to do, do the jokes. I'm glad I get to do the jokes. Um, God, that did not, whew. Um, honestly though, like the death part wasn't the weird part. It, 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 it was the whole funeral business that profits off the death part. Uh, I'll give you an example. We were at the funeral chapel. We were all saying our goodbyes to him, and it was our final little moments, and it was very solemn. And the director came by, and she handed us this keepsake catalog to peruse. That uh, it rem reminded me of when they hand you the dessert menu at a restaurant. You know, it's like, hey, how we doing over here? We still grieving? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, did we leave any room? <laughs> I don't know. I'm all full up on sadness, but uh, anybody want to split an urn? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, I want to do one. I want to do one thing uh, before I go. Uh, my dad likes jokes. He loved to tell jokes. I want to do a joke that I think he would enjoy doing up here if he were here right now. Uh, so. All I need from everybody is to just on the count of three, say the words, I'm hungry. That's all you gotta do, okay? One, two, three. I'm hungry. Oh, well, gee, nice to meet you there, hungry. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think we all just wrote a poem. <laughs> Thank you, that's me.